Hey Gadget class, I'm testing some pest related products. This one here is an RBTZ cockroach trap. Testing this in conjunction with a ultrasonic pest repeller. And my buddy Mark actually raises cockroaches to feed his lizards. And uh, he was kind enough to loan me some for this video test here. So this is a uh, cockroach trap. You just set it up with some bait and uh, it'll start accumulating cockroaches. And we're going to put it to the test with these fine dubia cockroaches here. It, uh, it's pretty simple. You just take the cover off, put food in each of these four little sections there, and the idea is that they get up under the trap there and they can't get back out. So uh, my buddy Mark tells me that cockroaches really like citrus, so we're going to set it up with uh, some uh, oranges as well as some cockroach food, and we'll see which one they like better. So let's go ahead and set this in here. We got a little orange slice. Split that all up open. And then this is his special cockroach food con concoction. It's got like chicken food, cereal, uh, whey powder, all kinds of stuff in there. We'll just put the lid back on and wait and see. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop it now and we'll come back in a, like an hour. We'll check it every hour and I'll come back when we've got enough in there to uh, definitively say whether this is a good cockroach trap or not. This is day five with this roach trap here. Day three without the little ultrasonic pest repeller in there that I did a review of on the other video. But we've only got one roach in here. We've got some babies in there. Uh, the babies uh, went in there almost immediately. This one big roach uh, took about, you know, day five to get in there. Um, so just to mix things up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and take, uh, take the oranges out. And we'll do one more day with the oranges outside of the trap. And we'll put some other food in there. Um, for them to eat as well. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and uh, pull this roach out and we'll just uh, put all this roach food we'll put all the roach food on the ground there keep the oranges on top and then uh, I'll go get some some cookies or something to put in there. Alright, I'm breaking out all the stops. I got a Twinkie I got some chunky peanut butter, nice good natural stuff, a piece of bread, and a piece of uh, cereal there. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the oranges out on top because according to my buddy Mark that raises these things, uh, these things will go after oranges and citrus like nothing else. So we're going to go ahead and put this back on, put the little thingamajig back on, and uh, give it another day. Hopefully we get a bunch more roaches in there. Let's... Uh, Yeah, we'll see what happens. And it, technically, they should be going after all this food. That's got all kinds of cereal in it. They'll probably eat those oranges overnight. Uh, we'll give it one more day and see what happens. I've given this roach trap about as much uh, chance as I can. It's not working on these dubia cockroaches. Um, they have eaten a lot of the cereal I put out here and uh, most of the orange. But uh, so far, I've only seen babies get into this and uh, one adult female. Uh, other than that, uh, not a single roach has gone in there. I've seen a roach come up to the door, stop and walk back out. So I don't know if it's just really confusing for them, but I got peanut butter, I got Twinkies, I got bread, I got cereal. They just don't seem to like it. So at this point in time, I cannot recommend this roach trap. Um, might want to look somewhere else or it might work on your standard house roaches. I don't know, these roaches weren't really affected by the ultrasonic pest repeller either. So, I'll see. If I uh, have any luck with it on other breed of roaches, I'll update the video description below. 
All right, I put this thing outside where, uh, under this thing, where there was a bunch of crickets and other bugs, and uh, the ants got to it. The ants really like that peanut butter. A little bit of the Twinkie, but no other bugs at all. So, I'm gonna have to not recommend this thing at this point in time, unfortunately. So make sure you hit yes for found this review helpful, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel.